picture right now. All right, you done? That sucks, right? I spent two hours on the face, I couldn't get the hands right, and when I compared my art to this other artist I found online who's younger than me, it- Oh God, why is up with your face already? Because I know that was like, felt like very ugly. And I, I know that it was very that tough to say, oh my God, that is very the worst thing I could have ever sworn what I have to say because this is nothing but I wanted to say this anyway. Oh, hello guys, Son of Beast here. The next reaction I'm calling for this one is the why I love comics. Well, this is for him, not me actually. I, I was definitely thinking I was gonna love the comics one. The first thing I was gonna say, I loved like the Sonic comics. Like they're pretty cool. It's like amazing to say that is pretty awesome. But on my second thought, I just really had spied on with some a little bit of a comics in between from the making of the BFDI, or is it probably just like the In Anime Insanity Invitational Comics one that they were usually making this? But I was not even assuming what it's supposed to look like, but I know, I know that it was very difficult for me to see what it's all about. So, I, I never seen what it is, so, in that mind, I wanted to figure it out what is up with the team, but I wanted to know which one, and how would, did somebody like the comics, like, I know it was very good, actually, a great comics to enjoy the story of it, it really impressed me for some reason, and I can under expect that. This is what's gonna happen right now. It makes me want to curb stomp this monstrosity so no one ever has to look at it again. Okay, now, think of a joke. Not one you've already heard before. I want you to think up a brand new, never been done before joke. Okay, tell me what it is. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. You know how cats are, like, lazy? Maybe we could do a joke about a lazy cat and his owner is like, Ah, stop being so lazy. Uh, okay, I uh, I get what you're saying right now, James. So the I'm really saying that the cat is very the uh, ugly Garfield. I mean, why is that a thing over there? Like, what is that name? How could you call that? I thought like Garfield the cat, which is this. I know it's not supposed to be like this. Well, you get that, right? That sucked too! Now imagine doing both of those things together and then putting that artwork up for the entire world to leave their unfiltered, anonymous opinions. And on top of that, you also make virtually no money off of it. Who in their right mind would put themselves through that kind of torture? Well, dear viewer, I would like you all to meet Zachary. Zachary? Who's that? I never seen anything like this guy who looks like Zachary, but uh, expectedly, like it's a Zach who loves the comic one or makes a perfection with the scientist technology. I mean, I don't know if it is, especially not with the famous swoosh who does a call that or Brody animates. But I might be saying, what else could that be? Not my choice. Zachary is a web comic artist. He makes webcomics just so when you're scrolling through your timeline while taking your morning poo, you get a little chuckle to yourself. You got a little chuckle to yourself right now. Like, it's a flying kitty profile picture. Like, I know that before, like this. But I could have sworn it would have been just like that. But <laughs> it's all poured up. Oh, man, your face is, like, already, like, garbled out and you're having a little long night. It looks like you wanted to have to go to the bathroom and take a... Least the amount of turds everywhere. I mean, I mean, I, just sitting here on your phone. I mean, why would you have to do that in the bathroom for mo no reason? I mean, everyone who calls it for poo, I never know anything of why I should do that. Well, I'm sorry if I brought my electronics here in the in the bathroom, but I cannot do that in every time. Yeah, I don't know what my parents would say. So. <laughs> and then you keep on scrolling, forgetting about his existence entirely in mere seconds. I have a soft spot for funny webcomics. Not the super serious superhero ones or the Japanese ones. Wait, yeah, I, I don't think that's not what it's supposed to be like. It's gotta be coming up on your own, right? Wait, why is this part all pixely? Webcomics can be shared on any platform, 
In fact, a lot of webcomics get reposted without the artist's consent and with their names removed. Which is kind of weird that someone went through the effort of removing a watermark when they could have just, you know, not done anything and left it. I hope you all realize that behind every comic is an artist who just wanted to make you laugh and doodle something that day. Uh, yeah, especially when you're making something up and then you want to make, create your own like it's a paragraph or anything. Like, I know it was definitely that true. Example, like this one. Or this one. Or this. Or definitely can't even just explain what it's all about. So, I I, uh, I understand it with the comics are definitely like. So, I can understand that it was a very tough one to call for. In between this range, out of range. I mean, you, you, you can't make it a call out of it if you have it on your list. I started reading webcomics at a very young age. Back then, we just called them comics. They were really the only books that I liked to read. And the only place you could read the hottest new comics was in the newspaper. Oh, sorry, I should clarify. A newspaper is a stack of gray paper that would be delivered to your house by a child riding a bike, and they would print 19 pages of useless information and have one page dedicated to the funnies. <laughs> This is where the classics were born. You know the ones. The Calvin and Hobbes. The Garfields. The The Far Sides. Some of these comics have made me laugh harder than any meme ever has. I just want to say that Calvin and Hobbes was an extremely creative comic. It was a comic about a rambunctious boy that had a giant predatory animal best friend. I mean, where else have you seen that before? I don't know where I find it anyway, so I, I don't know what to tell you this. Because if I know what the, the boy and, uh, and a tiger used to do that, maybe they might be doing a little bit of fun adventure. Or could I say that they might be doing a little bit of playtime? Well, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if I would definitely have that. On a topic note, I made that one as the cousin of the beast. So, you like this one? It's pretty cool to have me and cousin both be here at, like, I definitely have a relationship to go with. And I really enjoyed of of playing with him. And he's very that good. Perhaps this long term could be going for NBA to get in the game. Well, I gotta figure him out how to get that dribble down and then get it right away. So, it can be a real thing, you know. Okay, back to the point. And get rid of that content look on the car rear windshield. By the way, if you ever see those Calvin peeing bumper stickers, those are unlicensed knockoffs and really go against everything Calvin and his creator, Bill Watterson, stood for. In fact, all Calvin and Hobbes merchandise is unlicensed because Bill Watterson never made merchandise. Well, it's kind of like a tough thing to go with your merchandise, even when I go of mine own. I mean, <laughs> I got a very tough, tough guy who knows everything, but I am not sure how I'm gonna get over it. But I mean, aren't these crochet Hobbs dolls the coolest? So there was only enough space in the paper for about 20 comics. And last time I counted, there were way more than 20 comic creators. So if you wanted to get your silly little comic in the news paper, you had some fierce competition. But now, anyone with a computer and enough dedication can create comics that get shared by millions of people. You don't even need a fancy drawing tablet or expensive painting software or even art skills in general. Web comics and the internet and memes have been intertwined for decades. Many of your favorite meme formats are just edited web comics. Now, in most cases, if someone took an artist's work, defaced it, and then re-uploaded it without credit, that'd be a bad thing. Yeah, it's a bad thing. And and let me tell you this, graffitis are definitely illegal to do that. So somebody could definitely face the consequences like every abandoned buildings. Like they already just saw I saw everything on the graffitis. Like one of the most of them have been closed off. And you know, that's because of them. They definitely did that. And I know when there are a lot of graffitis on the walls, I mean good at design painters, they want to make that sculpture to look nice. But the laws are critically claiming that they were doing this on your own. So you guys are thinking that you wanted to make a graffiti. Well, you're definitely going to be not cool at all. So I decided not to do it anyway. But if there's a blank space here on the walls, like, 
there's nothing on the building and you can't just make that one on and you can't do it in between restaurants or stores, the convenience center, the conference room post office or whatever. I can't just really make that one work. So I could just go ahead and just write down on the paper the big poster. I get that. But on this, it's a no. I mean, whose face is that? Whose face is that? Who Does anybody know this guy? I know I don't. But memes are different, I guess. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I want you all to know that these artists have made other comics that are just as funny. And you should support their work and buy their books. And if you're going to make a webcomic at it, please just keep in the watermark. It's, it's literally more work to take it out. And you're being an asshole. So okay, I'm not going to say anything about you, so... Keep your watermarks on, so I, so I know it's yours. Some of you original gangsters may remember that I also used to be a webcomic artist. I posted my first webcomic in 2012, which- Oh, that's because after the Hurricane Sandy happened, then, you know, that's what I just understand what it is. So, that's a long year history in the making, over a decade. It was over 10 years. You could have said, I thought you were almost going to say over a decade. 10 years? It's been that long? What the fuck? I'll be- Okay, <laughs> that, uh, that's a good one. I, he almost made a cuss word, so... <laughs> nice try. At least. To be honest, my webcomics took a little while to get some traction. Let me explain something. All the comics I would read in the newspaper had distinguished characters with personalities. A lot of times, the punchline of a newspaper comic would only be funny because we knew the characters and their mannerisms. And yes, just like an example, like the Peanut movie, the Charlie Brown. I, I definitely watched that one here before, every holidays, um, in between by range. You know, it's one of them. Snoopy, Charlie Brown, uh, you know, uh, Linus, uh, Lucy, I don't know what, Peppermint Patty, uh, Marcy. Um, the, the, the bury the pumpkin, that's which I know of, and I don't know who this guy is, but, um, mm, I am unsure where it is, and the Snoopy families, huh, they're interesting, pretty neat, thanks to whatever creating, it's a long year history to making, I know for the legend, but for me, I might be saying I could definitely just try to make that one good as new. Make myself the Beast Comics. Well, I'll see what I could do if I make that one work. Because if it makes a success, I can finally make the animation work. Garfield hates Mondays, so instead of him hating Friday the 13th, he hates Monday the 13th. Um... But for me, I hate Sundays because Sundays are the worst day. And, you know, whenever you get up to work and then it's like a longest year, you don't get a rest. And then, you know, I, I just do not like it anyway. I like taking more rest days in between by each days that are not going to be busy. But I know time management, time makes a good source like you make it there on time. And you don't want to be late. So, I do understand it. Not Monday the 13th, Garfield said. Huh? I guess you don't like Monday the 13th. Huh? That's a good one, Garfield. So I try to make a webcomic like that with my own little universe. I'm going to be a little vulnerable for a minute. Let's talk about my OCs I made when I was a 16-year-old boy. There were three main brothers. Jake, who was a self-insert character. One time I dressed up as him for Halloween. Justin, the book smart straight man. Straight man as in the character archetype, not the sexuality. Although if any of the brothers were gay, Justin would be the gay one. Well, he won't be, actually. And Kevin, the laid back older brother who did whatever he wanted because he's the oldest. Oh, Kevin. Hmm. I, I just didn't notice about that. But Nathan, not really the true thing because I couldn't really understand what that was. Hey, hey, it's almost the same thing like... Like this kind of a color, like it's blue pants with the dark blue shoes and green sweater. Like it, it almost been the same thing like in Famous Swoosh. Exactly the same thing, true. 
But it seems like it's not really the same thing to go with an honest, different look of opinion. I mean, well, I mean, can you look at the difference in between this and that? I mean, what is the world thing? And for me, in between of basketball, I look very different with an unleashed claw that I'm, I'm scrapped it. And I definitely, like, take it over this and I wedge it out. I mean, what is the world going to know? Those three were the main boys. Jake, Justin, and Kevin. The three whitest names anyone's ever heard. Now, if you're an up-and-coming comedy webcomic artist, I would suggest to not to do what I did. If you're just trying to make someone laugh, you don't need a whole cast of characters that have intricate relationships. Just tell your joke and leave. Or don't. It's your art. You can do whatever you want. I mean, I can definitely do what I want, but I I just really do not want to make this sentence like it's confusing for the whole people to read this. And I, I don't want to make this one feel bad, as I know. But for honest reasons, good of the Lord, I just don't know what to tell you. It's not what everybody does. It gets rid of it too soon. And you're going to have to, like, stop what you're doing. Eventually, I wanted to rebrand myself. Instead of having distinguished, defined characters, I went with a very basic looking character design that had absolutely no distinguishing features at all. And I settled on a design that looked like this. It looks like you. I mean, over time I refined it. I yeah, it's all you can definitely say. I originally posted my comics exclusively to Tumblr. It was just me and this other obscure webcomic about trolls. We were the two main ones, really. Now, if you're still an up-and-coming webcomic artist, then you should post your comics to every platform imaginable. I learned the importance of cross-platform promotion the not-so-easy way. One day, I got a Tumblr message from someone asking if they could post my comics to a small, unknown app called iFunny. And I said, sure. Then that guy would periodically send me messages like, Dude, we are blowing up! Our comics keep getting featured! And I was like, hour hour like then i wake up to messages asking hey are you the one posting these to ifunny and i said no but i gave the other guy permission to yeah but you, it's not allowed to do that so ifunny well i never seen the app like this or tumblr hmm i must wonder if i could definitely do with my comic look of me as the son of beast Maybe the other guy named to call for the new one, Ultra Beast. Okay, I I may be given another name, however, so I will see how I could do to try to give it to someone else. You know he's impersonating you and starting beef with other artists, right? Hmm. It turned out that iFunny was my most popular social media account, and I didn't even have access to it. I eventually got the account back, and now people tell me that they loved reading my comics on iFunny back in the day, which wasn't even part of the plan originally. Webcomics have really impacted me and this channel. Some of my earliest online friends were other webcomic artists, who I don't keep in touch with as much as I should. My bad guys, I'm sorry. My username is based off my webcomic, my character design was made for my webcomic, and even my cannonball profile picture is from a panel in my webcomic. Yes, I know that is why it's still there. And that's why he can just definitely make that one keep as a good selection. So with the cannonball, the owl, stop it man, I'm drowning, I was under the impression cannonballs kill people. So that's why it is definitely what... James has already have done. So I guess the, that is definitely true of what it is supposed to look like. That helps me to get right into my process to do my Tumblr version. So I would go with, sup, it's your boy. And then the other guy would say, oh, is this a new dude? And I say, hey, I'm just here to play. What are you here for? And he will say, Yes, I'm here for you playing against me. You on it? And I would say, yeah, I'm in. So that will be my example of how uh, I do. To describe my uh, part of the comics in between a one-on-one -on -one face off, like, you know, it's like a short. Believe me, I do that for most of the time. But I need to figure this out how to get it done. 
I really hope this video makes you appreciate the webcomics that you see on your timeline. I know you see them, they're everywhere. If you come across a comic you like, I want you to try and find the original artist's socials and browse their other comics they've created. I guarantee you'll find some banger comics that just didn't get the same amount of attention as the other ones. And who knows, you might just make a difference in someone's art career. And yes, my art career is definitely the perfect choice for me. And I can bring somebody else here with the friend of it that has done a great art comics to life. You know, making a whole video about webcomics has made me miss my first love. A lot of times when I think of a joke, I have to wait two months to tell it. And at that point, I don't even know if it's funny anymore. Wait, were you sure about two months and you think it's not funny? Why? But a webcomic can have same day joke delivery. So this is how I'm officially announcing that I'm making webcomics again. I'll be posting them on my website and maybe Twitter if I'm still verified. There's already six brand new comics. Feel free to make any meme edits of them. I, I don't care. Oh my gosh, I never seen what's going on with the comics. And wait, you have a plush too? Also be sure to check out this amazing reversible toasty plush. It's honestly my favorite thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And up until April 10th, we're running Merch Madness, where you can possibly score a free VidCon ticket and meet up with me. You don't even need to buy anything to enter, so check out the description for more information. Well, I won't have to, because I already know I already did. But in that case, it's already like the, the, the pass already, uh, before March of the next year. And I'm thinking that Halloween is right around the corner, so I guess that I will have to try to see what I can do. Well, without Red Unleashed Beast, so, <laughs> hooray, I could still say is, you better subscribe or, unfortunately, I will have to send you nightmares and make you frighten them all. And then we will deactivate your video on your channels. So this is your last warning. Okay, I'm guessing that is it. Is there anything else? I'm super excited to be making comics again. It's how I started out my internet journey. I'm going to try and post at least one comic a week, so be on the lookout for those. Um, thank you all for watching and sticking through this end card. Y'all are the real ones. Draw a picture right now. And I know this picture. I already thinking that this was amazing to enjoy the most wonderful time of my life. So, oh yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it. I can definitely make the call for it. So, yeah, you want to make that one with the background out of it. And also storyboard, a sets. I mean, I'll try to see what the editor does. Especially with me to go with my 2D animator or the rig. So I may not be able to know what to do with that. In the meantime, thank you for watching. And peace out, everybody, for a while as the... Love the comics on Adi's Out channel dial. This is Son of Beast, and I am hope I'll see you for the next part of a video here. And I'll have to go back to Infamous Swoosh because it's already out. Anyway, just make that one much more uh, believable, what I meant. So, peace out. Again, follow me on my social media on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Links are in my about page. And yes, go ahead and you can go to the website here. Like, let me say this. It's because of what I usually do. I don't think I would have much time to do this. So when I go back, I will give you this. Like this comic. So go to um, go to this uh, page. If you have anything else to say, just, just take a look over here. It doesn't matter like if you want if you like it or not, so you might have to enjoy it for yourself. Just go with the fact and, and enjoy it. So with that, peace out. Enjoy your comics, folks. And I will enjoy mine too. Until next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will. One more thing, don't forget to watch the oddballs. It's available on Netflix. You will be able to watch it too with your friends and family on the go. And if you haven't watched this, I also highly recommend here to watch here on Netflix app. Here on TV or electronics. Everybody will love it too. And James, you're the man. Thanks.